Hey, good evening. It's 6.30. I'm going to call to order meeting number 1881 of the East Windsor Planning and Zoning Commission. We are located live in the John Daly room of the East Windsor Town Hall, as well as on the Zoom platform. We have a quorum. We have four regular members and one alternate. So, Wayne, I'm going to ask you to sit in on any uh, voting that may take place tonight. Yes. Thank you. Do we have any added agenda items? We do not. There is no legal notice, uh, public participate. Uh, okay, so I'm at the public participation portion of our meeting. Is there anyone in the audience would like to speak on a topic that is not on tonight's agenda? Is there anyone online that would like to speak on a topic that's not on tonight's agenda? Okay. We will move on to approval of minutes. We have the <clears throat> minutes from our last regular meeting held on September 10th. Does anyone have any corrections or comments? Yes, I do. Are you uh, particular about spelling of names by any chance? Yep. Um, okay. You Stan did bring that up and we you have them annotated. We yeah, Stan Palowski's last name is P A L E S K I. Line item, which oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, he's on 36. 36, and he is on. Can you re repeat the spelling? Sure, okay. correct spelling of his last name is P A L E S K I. And line number 31, Bob Like, it's L Y K E. I also noticed between line number 40 and 41, um, I had addressed the uh, people here about uh, multiple housing and low-income housing in that area. And uh, Mr. the consultant, D. Amato, said that we have enough uh, of our percentage in town, and he he elaborated on that a little bit, and I don't see that in there. And you said on line forty. Well, it would fit somewhere between lines forty and forty-one. I I just picked the general area. There was a chunk where um, Mike had opened his binder oh, yeah. and uh, shut off the microphones, so that you know that may have. Okay. Other than that, I see no other. Oh, and on one hundred two, Stan Paleski should have an um, an I instead of a Y. If that's one hundred two. Okay. On line twenty seven, after the word speak. I would put an A before bout. Um, in line 95, Mark Barberi's last name after the R, there is the second R, there's an I. In line 109, I think it's not C R R O G. It's Capital Region Council of Government. So the second R, I believe, should be a C. And for the motion to adjourn, I think it was seconded by Wayne, wasn't it? And not Jim. Correct. Yeah. So I think that's an error. May I offer? Sure. On line 151, does town planner Calabrese provide a clarification in terms of, it could say mixed pieces instead of matches. Mm -hmm. And then line 194, uh, town planner Calabrese noted a survey was sent out that was a business survey so that we don't have confusion later. 
just we have a few surveys out there. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone have any other uh, edits? Okay. So then I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of our meeting held September 10th, meeting 1880 with the typographic corrections we've discussed. Okay. There's a motion to approve the minutes. Do we have a second? Yes. Vice Stacy. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Dave. Okay, thank you. Okay. The receipt of applications, we have none. Performance bonds, actions, permits, extension, road acceptance, we have none. We have no continued public hearings. Under new public hearing, the applicant has requested that we defer this to our next meeting. So uh, could someone offer a motion to defer public hearing DZ 2024.14? I'll make a motion to defer the start of the hearing PZ 2024-14. The applicant slash owner is Rye Street Business Park LLC till until our October 8th meeting. There's a motion to defer the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. Second by Dave. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Hearing is deferred to our next meeting. Okay. Old business, we have none. New business, we have none. Under other business, we have our proposed dates for our 2025 meeting schedule. Does anyone see any dates that would be in conflict as to why we couldn't meet at these dates? I think the dates are okay. I just think December 23rd isn't going to be great for attendance by the public or potentially having a full slate of commission members. Exactly. Well, yeah, I'm like, going to be here on the 23rd, by the 23rd of December. <clears throat> I mean, that's I'll, when it's I, 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 out. Yep. I agree. I, I, Thank you very much. Um, I guess so we get did, there we and kinda, well, we reschedule. We kind of did the same with November being the fact that it would normally have fallen right on election day. Is that correct? That's why we went to just the, yeah, one meeting. the one in November. So, I mean, we could, the way we addressed that was if we had some application that was pressing that we could call for a special meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we could do the same with the December if something cannot wait till January. Not schedule it. And then, and, and then we'll call a special meeting if we have something that's urgent and pressing. So we're going to take December 23rd off the calendar. If we're all in agreement. Yeah, we'll have to vote on it, obviously. Any other suggestions or? Okay, so. You want it as a motion or just as a, as a vote? To... Well, we'll make a motion to adopt the calendar with the modification of removing the December 23rd date. So somebody want to offer that? Motion. I'll make a motion to adopt the 2025 meeting schedule as presented by staff, eliminating the December 23rd, 2025 meeting as a regular meeting. We have a motion to uh, adopt the 25 meeting schedule. Do we have a second? Second. Come by Dave. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Schedule is adopted.
Okay, the next item we have is our CEO report. It's a lot. Okay. So the first item on here is the quality rare of Maine. That's when we have the um, bill, the wetlands area. Um, the property owner has hired a consultant who had been meeting with um, the Inland Wetlands Agency to give them updates. They're working toward um, enhancing and restoring, creating a wetland on site. Uh, and um, just doing this, the field work to support that um, in the local bill. But it is still a zoning violation and they know that they've been noticed of such um, that they put in. Uh, so there is active uh, remediation going on or restoration right now? They are doing all the design work. Okay. Yeah, all the design work. They've done um, an assessment of the groundwater flow and the viability of the wetlands, and they've really studied the pile itself and um, what's there. Uh, so their LEP has recommended leaving that, and for the wetland mitigation, it's happening on site, but in a different location. Okay. Uh, uh, West River Farms are under litigation. There will be a CPA hearing uh, um, developed as a field notice of violation and issue with regard to the one of the conditions of approval. 142 South Main, uh, that it if you remember, the property owner came in for site plan modification. Um, Danielle's been monitoring that. It, it's been um, compliant. Um, and they had gone to CBA <clears throat> and they upheld Danielle's NOV. And so they moved the cars out of the area that they shouldn't have been in. So she, she just wants to watch. Okay. They kind of creep back. <laughs> Sixty-three Abbey. They are making uh, some progress uh, with the recent changes to the regulations that might resolve uh, some of the compliance matters. Um, a complaint came in. Well, I guess it's an issue that was on the already. Ninety Windsorville. Um, that also the same thing. With the recent reg changes falls out of the. Enforcement issue. And then the other issues, the mail, as you know, are the ones that were resolved and closed. 93 wells, an unpermitted structure, that's the shed. The neighbor took out permits to move that shed over to his yard. And then chickens, they were removed at 121 Main Street. On Winkler Road, there was an inoperable Jeep out by the roadside for quite some time, and uh, they have since removed, since September 9th, removed that. <coughs> He's got Bridge Street. Um, this one, this, this is um, Seabug Records. This is the one, yeah. She's waiting. She's been trying to get him to submit a permit application for quite some time. Um, then Newberry. This is out on Newberry Road where they cut down, they clear cut you know, area that was designated as wetlands. They've got a wetlands scientist out there to do some delineating and uh, we'll probably see them come here with a site plan modification but they're, they're working with the commission that is the weapons agency. Yeah. 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 We're getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. 
Okay. We have no correspondence or business meeting or need for an executive session. I have. Any, a, you have something else you'd like to just discuss? A, I have a, just a reminder. Um, the operations manager for TND Recycling down at the Kemet Yard recently had the public hearing for the soil management mm -hmm. operation. He, when he stopped by with his bond, he offered, you know, as they start to bring in material, if any of the commission members wanted to go see the operation in action or whatever, to see how he's managing the site in real time. He just wanted to offer it to the commission. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody have anything else that they want to discuss? I have I have one item. Um, so I uh, was on the prod meeting this past Thursday, and they brought up a topic which seemed very interesting to me. They were talking about uh, noise regulations and reference to anything in a zoning reg, which they said that there is now a new state statute that prohibits that, that it has to be done through ordinance instead, because they don't want noise enforcement to go through the ZEO, that it should go through the police department for enforcement. So I was kind of thinking, is there any regulations that we have? I mean, I know sometimes that we reference quiet hours or anything like that in terms and conditions or things. Yeah. And just hours of operation, but nothing specifically to talk to the noise right. levels or anything. It's a condition in somebody's site plan approval. We've said keep the noise at the property line compliant with the state regs. So, that, so I think that sounds so, loud. We won't be allowed to, to do, do that. Because like, I think we might have done it with that noble car wash. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's like a site. Maybe there was some discussion. Yeah. 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 But I feel like a couple of times it may have been a special condition. But if the applicant agreed to it, is it a negotiated condition okay or not? There's probably lawsuits that are associated with what they went over in that. Maybe, or or I could also see that it would put a a ZEO officer in a in, yeah. a, in a very precarious position to try right, to go enforce, it. enforce well, a, a noise violation. anyway. Right. That was certified and all that. So just I understand. This is the thought that something that we should yeah. be aware of Careful and, of. and, and, and don't, watch. We that. do not have a noise ordinance. I know we yeah. don't have a noise ordinance. So. so it would just be state. Yep. Okay. And that was all that I had. So no one else has anything else. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second by Stacey. Oh, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned at 648.